You shall not murder. And whomever murders will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. So if you are offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First, be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. <laughs> Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food? and the body more than clothing. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek all these things, and your heavenly Father knows you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Judge not, that you be not judged. How is he doing? For with the judgment you pronounce, Sermon. you will be judged. The words are the same as written, but... Now oh, he's saying them. Yes. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. And if anyone should slap you on your right cheek, turn and give him the other one also. And if anyone would sue you, and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye? But do not notice the log in your own eye. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. And if anyone should force you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, and thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell. 
great was the fall of it. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock.